absolutely beautiful evening in the Swedish capital. So we will see Tomas Golovay for the first time world champion. And currently joint leader in the World Grand Prix standings with Greg Hancock. Christian Auger is expected to be out again here. And blue is called Red Rory Schlein for Hammerby. So Crump is out for the first time this evening. Jason Crump wearing white. Inside him is Thomas Gold. Very interesting to see how the two down go up against each other. Christian Auger in the barricade. And of course, we also have Rory Schlein. There is Schlein in red. Gaul will be hoping to pick up where he left off last week. He shows some good form ahead of the Czech Republic on Saturday evening, and in doing so, he's free to have his lead. There he is, six at the moment. And on the outside, it's Schlein that makes an absolutely cracking start. Gaul is must be content with third in one at the moment. Jason Crump, and what shoulder injury you may ask, he's been out for two weeks. That's giving the start to the first corner in eight four here. It looks like he's never been away. He's trading riding brilliantly here for Bennett Petlanda. Eli Petlanda, Crump surrenders the lead to Schlein, gallops in in third. They were in front and behind. Jason Crump put a real pressure on him, and the young trade Christian Lavier is down in fourth at the moment. So it's a 4 2 split at the moment, so imperative that Jason Crump manages to somehow overhaul Rory Schlein and at least split the standings in heat four. In lap three, one more to go. But it's still Schlein that leads the way. He won heat two, and he's looking to double up on that in heat four. The golf now has been reeled in by Laguerre. There's two separate battles going on here in heat four at the moment. Six between them, and at the moment that will be eight. If Rory Schlein can hold on, which he can, Thomas Golub does come in in third place. And it's another good ride by Hammerby, coming in at first and third with Jason Crump. That's the main talking point here in heat four. Because after what was initially suspected to be a dislocated shoulder, suddenly he's back two weeks later, the three-time world champion. And that was a pretty impressive ride for a man who must still be experiencing a little bit of pain and looking to get back to top four before that trip to Prague on Saturday night. So an additional two points.